for hours. 45-year-old Michael Connell, an experienced pilot, crashed into a vacant house. Well, tonight, more about Connell and his ties to a possible White House scandal. Night in Action News reporter Blake Chenault with more at 11. This is where Michael Connell worked, and it was from this building that he provided services to President Bush. An investigation is ongoing to find out exactly what kind of services Connell from this building provided to the president. The fatal plane crash of Michael Connell was certainly untimely. The 45-year-old local man was accused of rigging the 2004 election for President Bush, a claim that Connell denied under oath. But under closer examination, civil attorney Clifford Arnbeck wanted Connell placed under federal protection. Arnbeck was worried that if Connell told all that he knew about President Bush and the 2004 campaign, Connell's life would be in jeopardy. Arnbeck said he received confidential information that Republican operative Carl Rove threatened Connell and his wife if Connell told all that he knew. So who exactly is Michael Connell? Well, he worked here as a Republican computer specialist and consultant. Basically, he's accused of taking votes in 2004 from then-candidate John Kerry and diverting them to President Bush throughout the state of Ohio. But last month, under oath in a federal court, Connell denied having any knowledge of manipulating votes. Records show the Bush campaign paid Connell's business some $800,000 in 2004, but it's unclear for what. Connell, though, was apparently told by a close friend not to fly his plane because the plane might be sabotaged. And twice in the last two months, Connell, who was an experienced pilot, canceled two flights because of suspicious problems with his plane. And now, last night, he had another problem with his plane, but this one took his life. It is too early to tell if the federal investigation into the cause of Connell's death has any kind of tie to the work he provided from this office to the president. In Richfield, Blake Chenault, 19 Action News. All right, we have